Todd Walsh gave the ultimate gift of life 10 years ago when he passed away at West Jefferson Medical Center and his family decided to donate his organs. On New Year's Day, the Louisiana Organ Procurement Agency is honoring Matt and his family at the 2016 Rose Parade in Pasadena, California. Here to tell us more about this amazing tribute is Lana Stevens, the community educator uh, for the Organ Donation Agency, and as well as Terry Walsh, Matt's mother. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank Good you morning. for having me. Thank you. First, I want to know about your son. He must have been an incredible individual. And why did you decide to donate his organs? Well, Matt was um, 21 years old when he was um, in a car accident, and he had um, massive head trauma, so he would not survive. Um, he wanted to be an organ donor. He had the little red heart on his driver's license. So, um, and when the doctors gave me the news that he would most likely not survive, I knew that um, if I could not have my son, I wanted him to live on in others. So, um, made the decision to donate his organs. And you saved numerous lives by doing so. Well. Um, Yes, a um, uh, 63-year-old gentleman from Abbeville received his heart. Oh, wow. Um, a 12-year-old from Baton Rouge received his kidney. And a 47-year-old um, um, female received his liver. And then bone and tissue and corneas were also donated. That's absolutely amazing. And Lana, mm -hmm. you work with the Organ Donation Agency here. Tell me a little bit more about why this is so important. Wow, why is it so important? There's such a huge need for donation. Uh, currently, across the United States, there's mm -hmm. over 123,000 people waiting on some type of life-saving organ transplant like the ones that Terry mentioned. Um, outside of those, people are waiting on, um, I believe you said heart, kidney, liver, mm -hmm. lung transplants, um, pancreas transplants, small intestinal transplants. So there's a huge, huge need for it. Um, here in Louisiana, that number is almost 2,000. And unfortunately, not everybody receives that transplant. There's just not enough organs to go around. So the importance of sharing your decision uh, to become a donor, registering to become a donor when you go to the Office of Motor Vehicles or on our website, it's just so important to share that decision with your family. And it's, it's easy to be an organ donor as well. Very easy. The process easy. is very easy. The process is very easy, only about five minutes. Um, doesn't take a whole lot of time to become a donor. It's that important conversation to have with your family, um, which obviously Matt did with Terry because that made the decision a lot easier for her. Absolutely. And she knew that it was something that he wanted. And that makes things a lot easier for the family. So, so tell me about the Rose Parade. This is really incredible. How, what, what, what is this going to be like for you? Well, it's going to be very, very um, exciting, but very bittersweet. Sure. Um, it's going to be very emotional, but we know that it's just such an honor that Matt is being recognized along with, I think, a total of 60 other organ donors, and it means so much to us, and we are just so excited to be going. Um, Lopa sponsored my daughter and I to go, but her husband and, and my granddaughter are also going to be attending. So um, it's just going to be something, uh, a lifetime experience that um, will only happen once, and we are going to take it all in. And um, while it's going to be very emotional, it'll be a beautiful event. Oh, I bet it is. Yeah. Well, congratulations on such a wonderful tribute. I mean, it's Thank going to be you. amazing. Thank Have you. a safe trip as well. Thank you. <laughs> you, will. you will. If you want some more information about the Rose Parade, you can watch it here live, WDSU, on Friday, January 1st at 10.30 a.m. Thank you both so much for being here.